Well, hello, folks. It's Mike here, and I just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron. And today I've got a, uh, uh, it's really not a question of the day, but it's actually a comment from uh, a subscriber or viewer that's actually uh, asked us a previous question, and we answered that recently. But Eric says here, he says, I seasoned with too much oil, and not now it looks like it's dripping everywhere, and it's really sticky and not smooth. And this is a problem that, you know, we get a question about this from time to time, but it's a problem that some people have uh, when they're seasoning their cast iron. And the one thing you want to remember about seasoning cast iron is you're only wanting to add a very thin layer of oil to your cast iron skillet before you try to bake it in the oven. And so if you add an excessive amount of oil to your cast iron without wiping it out, uh, what you will end up having is a sticky mess, like Eric says here. Uh, the, the, the oil will not actually um, adhere to the uh, texture of the cast iron skillet. It will begin to pull up on the inside of the skillet, and even on the outside for that matter. But uh, you'll end up with a sticky mess when that happens. So what you want to do when you're seasoning your cast iron is... Um, as you're adding your oil to your cast iron, it's okay if you put, you know, quite a bit in there to make sure you're able to cover the whole area uh, of your cast iron skillet handles, you know, the inside edges and the, the, the pour spouts or whatever. Uh, but, but what you want to do, you don't want to leave it just like that. You want to, once you get everything completely coated, then you want to take a, uh, you know, a towel or something and wipe out any excess oil that you have. As a matter of fact, what you want to do basically is you want to try to wipe every bit of the oil out that you just put on there. Now, I know that doesn't make any sense. You think, well, I want to put enough oil on here to make sure I, I get a nice finish. And, you know, that's generally what you would think, but really you're only wanting a very, very, very thin layer uh, in order for it to bake into the cast iron. If you have more than that, like I said, it'll pull up in the uh the cast iron as it's baking and it really doesn't harden it is really like a rubbery uh you know just a mess <laughs> and it's sticky and that's why you end up with sticky cast iron uh it, it's it's not a problem that can't be fixed but you can remedy it uh you know you can you can head that off before you ever get to that point if you will just take once you put your oil in your cast iron skillet just try to wipe it completely out think of it like this it's kind of like waxing your car. If you've ever waxed your car in the summertime and you put a, a massive amount of wax on the car and it heated up and it baked onto there, you got a mess. And I mean, it's going to take some elbow grease and, you know, it's going to take some effort to fix that. And uh, so just like your car, you only want to put a thin amount on there uh, and then wipe it out. And so that's, uh, that's the best thing that I can tell you for cast iron is just, you know, less is actually more when you're putting oil in your cast iron skillet. So don't put too much. If you do put too much, be sure and wipe it all out before you bake it. Or otherwise you're going to end up here just like Eric says. He's, he's, it looks like it's, it's pooling up or dripping everywhere and, and it's really sticky and it's not smooth. So this can be fixed and uh, I hope this has been helpful, you guys. Hey, leave us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. We appreciate all these answers or these questions that, uh, you know, that are seeking for answers and we're trying to be helpful to do that and I hope we have here so leave us a question if you have one we certainly appreciate appreciate every single one and we'll be coming back to you again soon y'all have a great day we'll see you bye bye